Hi loves, Chriselle Lim here from The Chriselle Factor. And for those of you that may not know me, I started off in this business as a wardrobe stylist. And I'm so excited to be the style coach for Glamour Magazine's show, Dress to Kill. As we all know, first impressions are important, but last impressions can be just as crucial. If you recently broke up or have plans to move on to bigger and better things, then this style challenge is right up your alley. In today's episode, we will be creating a revenge outfit with the challenge item of a cutout piece inspired by the latest episode from Dress to Kill. All right, so let's get started. Many of us have been through a rough breakup before, including myself, so I can definitely relate to any of you guys going through this right now. This is your one chance to try something new, something that you've always wanted to do but never had the guts to do before, such as cutting your hair. Even though you may not feel confident, your look needs to reflect your inner strength. A lot of people, when they think of cutouts, they think of a more risque outfit and sometimes trashy. But I picked out this cutout top to be the base of all my looks today. I love how the cutout here is emphasized around the shoulders and neckline, which is very unexpected. The strong angular lines reflect a sign of confidence and strength. There's also a slight cutout around the waist area, but is covered in mesh, showing just a peak of skin. The key thing when working with cutouts is to keep it classy and not trashy. Remember, you're not a victim, so go celebrate yourself by shopping with your girlfriends. Someone once told me, turn your breakup into a breakthrough. Take this opportunity to improve yourself. We all live busy lives, whether it be at school or at work. But during your lunch break, sneak away where you can expand your mind and enjoy the little things, such as reading a book while sipping on your favorite coffee. Now, on to the outfit. When working with cutouts, especially at the workplace, you want to be a delicate balance of style. If you see your ex at the office, even better. It's your chance to show him that sexy yet sophisticated outfit that he won't be able to stop thinking about. Pair your cutout top with a conservative yet sexy pencil skirt. You don't want to look overly sophisticated because that would be a little boring, but you don't want to look overly sexy either. It's all about finding that perfect balance. Now this is your one chance to enjoy your alone time. Take some time to be in the best company, as in yourself. So many times we get so caught up being with other people that we forget to enjoy ourselves. You need to remind yourself how amazing you are. You gotta learn how to love yourself first before loving someone else. Treat yourself out to your favorite thing. As for me, that would be ice cream. Sometimes cutouts can be quite a statement, so you want to neutralize the situation by pairing a strong top with something more feminine on the bottom, such as this flouncy A-line lace skirt. A crossbody purse will instantly make an outfit a little bit more casual, or in my case, a crossbody phone case that also acts as my wallet. Super practical. Your outfit should be a good balance of strong and feminine, which will reflect your will to move on, but will also reflect your open heart. Last but not least, surround yourself with positive people. I'm sure you have heard this before, but the people you surround yourself with will either bring you up or bring you down. Sometimes the best therapy is to indulge in your favorite food with your favorite friends. If you don't feel amazing, your friends will remind you of how amazing you are. And to be honest guys, sometimes less is more. The cutout top that I've been wearing in the past three looks is actually a full-on dress. A classic black dress that fits you like a glove is sometimes your best friend. Showing off your figure shows that you're not afraid and you're confident in your own skin. Besides, a little black dress is a basic that all women should have in their closet anyways. So remember ladies, your wardrobe is a reflection of your current state in life, so dress confidently and of course, stay chic. And don't forget to check out the actual revenge episode on Dress to Kill where I make my very first appearance as Glamour Style Coach. Make sure to subscribe to Glamour's channel so you don't miss out on a single episode. And also, please come by and subscribe to my channel as well for more fashion inspiration. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.